My name is Chris Trevelyan and I'm David Trevelyan's daughter, the designer from Multi Farming Systems. I also work in the business and um, behind me you see the 160 foot multi planter which is the largest planter in Australia certainly and we believe it's the largest planter in the world. This multi planter is on 20 inch or half metre row spacings and has a massive 96 multi planter tine assemblies. You'd think they wouldn't be attractive big enough to pull it but because of the unique hydraulic tine assembly design it only requires an average of four horsepower per time for conditions like they're planting in here. So what's the secret? Each digging tip is depth controlled by its own press wheel. So each tine assembly moves independent of the frame. This means that you don't get that bulldozing effect that you get with spring tines or hydraulic tines when they're fixed to the frame. And you compound that across 96 tines, varying soil conditions, and that significantly reduces the draft of the tractor and therefore the amount of horsepower required to pull the planter. This also means that the press wheel follows any natural depressions and hollows as well, so there's no skimming over the top and missing seating which you might get in that sort of situation. Paddocks are seated at exactly the same depth across undulation, over contour banks and across varying soil conditions. To plant deep into subsoil moisture, or moisture seek as we call it, you need an extra couple of horsepower per tine up your sleeve. This planter was moisture seeking down to 8 inches earlier this season and it was still only covering the seed with 2 inches of dirt, which of course is very important. It was travelling at around 7.5 kilometres an hour, which is 4.5 miles an hour in the old scale, and it was using 75-80% to 80 tractor power in this 500 horsepower tractor. That gives you a huge fuel saving per acre over conventional machines. Part of the reasons for this savings is due to the fitting of the sensor time system. It was designed by Multi Farming Systems in conjunction with Beasley's Hydraulics in Bundaberg. This electric over hydraulic system maintains a constant pressure under each press wheel, automatically enabling the digging tip extra pressure for tough country, and it eases it off in the soft. Farmers in this area plant tens of thousands of acres each year. Now that's a fair bit by anybody's standards. Some paddocks take up to an hour and a half to go up and back. You can see the curve of the earth in a paddock that size. Farmers today are having real difficulty in attracting and retaining labour, especially in the more remote areas. They're having to go wider and wider just to stay in business. We have a couple of 120 foot planters that have already been commissioned. We have various sizes, flat folding wings so you can get them very narrow for transport. End toe is very popular for the larger multi planters. The rear tines are designed to swing around and fold together to reduce the transport width so that they are flat against the frame. The pull is simply rolled around with a jockey wheel and it's suspended from one of the front wheel assemblies. Farmers can fit steering ramps to perform a number of functions. This planter has two sets of steering ramps fitted so it can be steered in the end toe position. Another farmer needs to get across a narrow bridge with his multi planter so he's fitted steering ramps to his machine as well. Other farmers are fitting global positioning system or GPS or to steer to their tractor and to their multi planter by connecting them together and utilising the rear steering ramps. This is really important when he gets into the bigger machines and want to inter cultivate. There's absolutely no point having just the tractor on auto steer if you have a 40 foot long pull and a lot of slope creep. Imagine the potential of such a machine that is so versatile, easy to maintain, delivering consistent depth control, minimising capital expenditure, reducing horsepower, fuel and labour requirements and in widths previously never obtained. So 160 foot now but we have a 302 foot multi planter on the drawing board which can be built. The only reason it hasn't been is because we don't have a farmer that's um, keen enough to go that wide. So we are in discussions but we'll have to wait and see on that one.